We are in the new annex, which is next to the gallery in the district. And the gallery in the district is a beautiful contemporary art gallery with modern, fun art that's owned by Michael Steinberg. We had decided to open up this annex, which is just two doors down from the gallery, to be able to showcase other works of art, and specifically and originally the art of James Michael Smith. This is a memorial and a retrospective of his entire life's work. One of the really great things about this exhibit is when you visit it, you will be able to see the whole series of his work over time. So it's really, really neat to be able to see how an artist transitions and changes their style and moves from one element, whether it's sculpture, to painting, to carvings, and back again. James Michael Smith and I have been friends for over 30 years. I bought one of his original pieces of art uh, when I first moved to St. Louis. James had this door collection, and I bought the blue door. It's the original piece I still have in my office. And for 30 years, I probably bought over 100, 150 pieces of his art. I really found him to be very fascinating, and the textures and what he did was different. And each year, he would reinvent himself. It took time to understand James. He was a very interesting, introspective, very quiet guy, but his art resonated with me, and he would always create things that were very different. Unfortunately, you know, we talk about how this exhibit started, and it started because I found out three or four months ago, maybe five, that James had esophageal cancer. And uh, someone told me that, and I called and said, if there's anything I can do, I'll be happy to call someone at Siteman. I know some people down there. I've given them money for uh, cancer research, and what can I do? And we stayed in touch, and you know, he said, I'm doing pretty good. And then all of a sudden, I got a call. James unexpectedly passed away. I was devastated. So of course, I reached out, and I said, what can we do to keep his memory alive and honor him and let people know what great work he did. And that's the basis for this gallery you see right here. This is something that we wanted to do to honor him for his great years of work. So that's what we're doing. And we are blessed to have the opportunity to really do this in honor of James Michael Smith. One of the really great things about having this exhibit for James Michael Smith's work is that the sales of this are going to be used to fund a scholarship for an upcoming artist. We don't get here by ourselves. I've had a lot of great mentors and people that have taken interest in me, and James was the same way. And James's goal was to take his art, sure he wanted to make some money, but he wanted to make sure that his legacy and his ideas lived on, and doing this and empowering and letting someone else become an artist might do the same thing. So his memory won't be for a year, it could be for a hundred years, depending on how this goes. You can learn more about this exhibit featuring the work of James Michael Smith and everything else that we have going on at the gallery by visiting our website at thegallerystl.com.